All right, so criminal the bears. Oh god. Oh, uh, oh god, yeah, he is actually way more creepy in this game. Uh, you know who? This guy. Oh, I yeah. thought you were talking first case. No. I guess it's like the dumpster you're still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal. It's just a dumpster! We just finished the meeting, for better or worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Let's talk. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't bite me. Has Edgewood said anything? Not a word. So, how did the meeting go? Can't tell you about You're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to do. Sure, a sword's healthy human like me or you. Still, I get the feeling that he's done something wrong, he won't go hide. He's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Edgeward did it? Well, the trial starts tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Uh... Hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else. Uh, yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Ed. He needs help, and you're all he wants to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. That's it, Dr. Gumshoe. Alright, why, yeah, why do you trust that boy? Dr. Gumshoe? How can you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We're a strong working relationship. Us two. We trust each other. That's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defense declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times. But there's a reason. We trust our investigation. See, he trusts us to get us the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. You gotta earn that trusty place. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. Yeah, my word on that. Don't worry about the autopsy. Uh, I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, man. Yeah, I made a copy for you. Okay. Time of death. Sometime on the 24th or 25th. Cause oh, one bullet shot to the heart. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me a, can you show me the photo of the victim? That face. Someone you know? I I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Well, I'm sure that won't be important, so... Alright, you know what, uh, let's go and see how, uh... If... Edgeworth. Well, actually, no, we can't do Edgeworth. Uh... Yeah. But, uh, let's see if, uh, Lada has somehow, uh, got that photo back real quickly. Stupid Lada. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I like her just I fine. I hate her. <laughs> hey, y'all! Lada! Wait up a sec, we got Bingo! Bingo, bongo, bongo. Bingo? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. I w yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. I found my winning bingo card. My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. Wait. See, see? You shoot him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't tell. But you can't really tell who, the, who that who, who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know, seeing these photos remind me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? I need to use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Are you serious? Of course. 
How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all recognize tell the cops? Yes, sir. I reckon no. I reckon no. What's that? Now don't you all think y'all can pull? Now don't. Now don't you all think y'all can pull one over on me just because you speak the lingo? I know enough to know that when you see a murder, you best tell the cops. It's my obligation as a citizen. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Well, actually, uh, well, actually, no. This is the. Uh, well, actually, in a way, she does have two photos, but for right now, this is the only one she's kind of given us. W wait, Lada. What? Can't you all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey. I was born yesterday. I'm a witness. That means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I'd sooner meet the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Lotta. Don't let you don't let it get your skeezies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe it'll let me do some testify. Hot dog. He left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Alright, take in at uh, 12.15 a.m. on Christmas Day. Alright, well, let's get out of here. To the boathouse. Well, actually, we don't need to worry about the boathouse. Looks like the police have given up uh, given up their interviewing. Uh, I don't know. That's who I think it is. Uh, yeah, so you want me to be this person, or you, or do you want to be, or do you want to try to be him? Because Bonnie was originally this guy in, uh... Hey! Alright. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> ah! Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Ha, ho, ho. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and say Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Ho, <laughs> ho, ho. I saw, I found you on the naughty list, Nick. Oh, you're going to, oh, you're going to jail. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. Ho, ho, ho. Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it all of you some work my day job? I saw a samurai dog. Oh, uh, okay, well, I'll be together a little bit. I saw a samurai dog. Want one? Gotta get money for teach, you know. My girl, Keonse, deserves the best. Keonse? Not a, not a model, I Oh, Kiyosu is a fly, fly woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume? She must be really nice. Whoa, it's you. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my... What? No, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Well, Nick, must be tough. Working 9 to 5, having to take care of a little sister. No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. If that helps. Huh, sounds great. Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. So, yep, Larry's back, so let's talk to him. Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you weren't here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been staying out here in the cold. Oof. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just... Keonse's not in town right now. She... she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. Uh, the trial's tomorrow. Huh. Neat. Venom is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Uh, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth! Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. W Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Well, let's talk about Edgeworth. So Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, Kim, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Who 
don't get me wrong. He's always been kind of the stick of the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Benji's father was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Benji's got a proboscis on his knee? No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of defense lawyer. Huh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Um, uh, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they kind of look like horse shape. Oh, well, originally they were board dogs. Like, you know, guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai thing was Kiyoshi's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all changed to name and you go, girlfriend. She may be that better. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Man, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We gained a ton of customers here on the lake with, what, with the big news. The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Gordy? Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake, a giant mysterious monster, Gordy! A monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow, it's really real. Eek, a monster! A real monster! Uh, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. What's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. It'll be one million dollars. One million? Oh, Larry. Alright, well, we got the article. Well, uh, we got nothing else better to do, so let's go back to the office. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just, something's been bothering me. Can you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey! I, I remember now! This guy! He's a lawyer that was... He, uh, he's a lawyer that was at that office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Wolfsburg's office? Right! That guy! That's the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go and talk to him? World time sick. Okay, well I guess we're gonna talk to Grossbrook now. Let's go! And his pain is still gone. Alright, uh, I don't think Barney's back, so I'm gonna be uh, so I'll be Grossbrook for a while. Ugh. Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Oh, uh -huh. you're me a s something, are you not? I was around to study, yes, Phoenix Wright. Uh -huh. and you, you're me a s something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You come to look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, oh, the days of my youth. And the scent of fresh loving, you see. Uh, Miss Grossberg, sir? Ah, uh, yes. I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to discuss something. What is it then? On the matter? Well, uh, yes. There was a murder last night. Murder? You haven't heard? I, um, just got old, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. Because he hadn't heard anything. 
Well, I mean, we don't know. I mean, we don't know the name of the person, but we know who he looks like. Strange. We also have seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Oh! Did you remember? It was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? Did you say this is the man Miles Edgewood shot? Well, who is Hammond? Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes. DL6 incident. Dun dun dun. DL6. Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spare medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spear medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the, vic the spirit of the victim. But the case was at a loss. No conviction was made. BL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to the charges being laid against one man. While well, Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. Can the police blame my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out it you were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh yes, yes quite. Thank you. No, please. Don't mention it. Neo six. I thought I heard that name again. Oh, wait. Why does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. <gasps> what? What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Well, uh, before we go down to the detention center, I do want to go back to criminal affairs real quick. So, let's do that real quick first. And EOSM's not back yet either, so I'm going to be Gumshoe and Ashworth too. What's going on here? Yeah. What's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after, after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around trying to find more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Ashworth the death sentence, pal? D no, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I could do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Uh, let's talk a little bit, at least about the testimony. So, what did Miss Hart say? She said she saw Mr. Ashworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right. I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. That's why she says she's going to enlarge the photo. She said, I'll drop the quality of mic, but should let us see who's who. He can do that? Okay. So it's going to be in a large photograph that shows Ashworth in the act. Great. Just great. In any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? Sounds like Mr. Westworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. Well, since I actually filed the paperwork, you still got time, pal. Don't talk to him again, for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make, you have to make him let him defend him, please. I know you're the one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Westworth. Hey, right, well, let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey, Doug. What's this? I was hoping you got my message the first time. Eshworth, what about your defense? <laughs> There's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Well, Eshworth, you gotta talk. Ashworth? 
It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You always were single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry, Miss Underwood, but I thought you weren't up to the task. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will enter to the best of my abilities. Alrighty, well. We're up the pass. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose this is a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested, a man. It's pretty clear he was the one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. With an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond, I cleared the suspect's name. Hammond. Is the victim in the Gore Lake murder? Correct. I don't even know if Barney's back yet. Must be doing something important. Um, that's spirit medium. That was my mom. What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end? The deal 6 happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Uh, me? What does that mean? When a case's statute of limitation runs out, legally, the case never happened. Even if you know, deal 6 will be closed. Forever. It's actually a fun fact. It actually was actually the point in uh, Japan by the time uh, this game came out. There actually was a statute of limitation for murder, and actually was 15 years ago. Uh, I believe they got rid of it up until this point, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, let's talk about the, sus uh, the uh, suspect. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent. I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 15 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? there be a photo? Eshwin, did you shoot him? What do you think, Roy? I don't think you're the kind of... I don't think you're the kind of point a gun at anyone. No. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right? <laughs> it pains me to ask you this now. I know. You want us to defend you. Yes. Will you? I wish Barney was here so he could pick, but... Alrighty. Well... Yes! Okay. Yes! Alright, there you are. Ah, uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. My little request. Please give me the detective don't shoot. Hey, we finally got that request. Well, I guess we should. What's that? It's quite Nick. It's a big one. Ah! It's coming down. Yeah, that was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There. He's on the floor. He's, a, he's on the floor in the ball, shivering. <clears throat> I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but 
curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. The surgeon doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to give Ezra's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Well, let's go. Look what I got. Did you want to be gumshoot? Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, okay, sorry about ahead. that. <laughs> sorry, I, I don't know why I keep getting distracted. Nah, it's okay. Hey, hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them, I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, Detective Gumshoot. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Uh, actually, to this day, I've never actually encountered an earthquake in my life before, to this day. Oh, oh, uh... In 2020, we had a. F I, don't, I don't know if you heard the news. Back in 2020, in January, we had a, a huge one over here. I think I might have heard of it. Yes, it was on January 7th, and the damage was severe. I, I can don't know imagine. If you remember? Yeah, yeah, and 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 it the, it kept shaking for at least a whole week. Like the, the big one happened, but the, there were a few small ones that kept happening. Yeah, 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 pretty much like uh, Aftershock and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. Anyway, uh, ESM is back, so he can go ahead and be a gumshoe again. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I'm gonna get, uh, I don't really give a fuck about you. You died in an earthquake. Who cares? I mean, <laughs> never mind the fact I literally just asked you to defend Mr. Rushworth, but... Anyway, go ahead. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He just seemed to overreact a little, now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what is it with, with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. I never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. Transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Well, I'm sure we'll find now later uh, during this case. All right. Uh, we actually still got plenty of good time. So, do you guys want to go ahead and do the uh, Let's first trial? Let's do it. Let's right, do it. Start. All right. We'll go ahead. <laughs>